Welcome to PDF Electric and Supply Company video series, troubleshooting the GE Series 9070 PLC system. PDF Supply has a large inventory of GE 9070 parts, and we've created this video to assist users with troubleshooting techniques. The first step to understanding the GE Series 9070 PLC status is to inspect the LEDs on the front of the power supply and CPU. When the green power LED on the power supply is on, it indicates that all power in and out of the power supply appears to be functional. If this LED is off, first check the fuse inside the power supply door. If your fuse is good, then most likely you will need to replace the power supply. If the power supply is good, then move to the CPU located next to the power supply. A green OK LED on the CPU means it has passed its power-up test. If this LED is not on, then replace your CPU and or memory card mounted on the side of the CPU because there is most likely a hardware failure. A green run LED indicates that the CPU is in run mode and is solving program logic properly. Your problem could be with field devices or the I.O. enable switch inside the CPU door. It could possibly be in the improper position. If this LED is off, we will describe a troubleshooting procedure later in this video. Finally, the green enable LED should be on, which indicates that there are no faults in your CPU and the I.O. enable switch is in the correct position inside the CPU door. Your processor is fully functional and other non-CPU issues could be at fault. A fourth LED remains off unless the key switch is in the memory protect mode. This LED exists only with the latest series of the 9070 CPUs. If you have a dead battery, your CPU may go into stop mode on a power cycle because you have no program. It is always good to set up a regular battery changeout procedure to limit the loss of a program. You must carefully replace the battery while the PLC is powered up. In many cases, there are two battery connectors, one for the new battery and one for the current installed battery. Install the new battery before removing the old battery. Do not power down your PLC system or you will most likely lose your program during the battery changeout process. The most common failure of the Series 9070 PLC is the run LED is off, which generally indicates that an incident has put the CPU in stop mode. Connect your programming unit to the RS-485 serial port on the PLC CPU, and then navigate to the fault tables in your programming software. There are two basic fault tables, I.O. and CPU. There you will find time and date stamp faults that have caused your system to leave run mode. In many cases, it will identify rack and slot positions of the failed module. Once you have fixed the issues creating the fault, clear the fault tables so that any additional faults will be logged at the next power-up. Continue this process until your GE Series 9070 PLC system is back up and running. We hope you found this video helpful in troubleshooting your GE Series 9070 PLC system. Please visit our website at pdfsupply.com for GE PLC parts or to view other technical support videos in our library.